Hi guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it going? I just wanted to let you guys know that there's going to be some changes in the prices. Um, I find that I'm doing an extended reading for everybody. So I'm cutting out the $40 Twin Flame and the uh, shorter version um, Divine Partnership. So I'm going to be going through each reading that I do, um, how many cards are in each uh, reading, as well as the prices. All right, cheers. Right, so the first spread that I have is the most basic spread. It is five cards. It's a past, present, and future, and I will be using my deck um, for most of the readings, uh, but I do have a large variety of uh, decks that I can choose from. So a past, present, and future. Oh, there's my 11-11 card. So I use this card as a confirmation for a twin flame connection, but you would have to specify if you would like me to look for this kind of energy in your reading. Okay, so I also look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, and then I will pull a card from a different deck as a message from the universe. The next reading I do is a Celtic wing. So this would be a general reading. Um, it entails a present position, Foundation, recent past, what you would like and will likely get, crossroads, which is the near future, what you're resisting, your internal environment, your external environment, the outcome of these three cards right here, um, the summary outcome and the final outcome and I will also, also look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy and read one card as a message from the universe uh, so that would be 13 cards in total so this is a crystal ball reading it is a 5 by 5 grid there are four cornerstone cards which represent the main energy in the reading and then one center card which is the message from the universe okay so there is a distant past, recent past, present, near future, and final outcome row. Um, and uh, so I generally see the timeline is running from past to, to future. And they do um, connect all the energies together. So usually I, the reading is focused on one person. But if you desire um, a twin flame element added to the reading, I can do it that way. Uh, the normal crystal ball is 25 cards, 5x5 five five grid, um, and then one card for a message from the universe, which is 26 cards. Um, but the kind of twin flame aspect of this reading, crystal ball reading, would be the 5x5 five five grid. Um, plus four cards, four additional cards. That would be what the feminine is bringing in, what the masculine is bringing in. Then a foundation and a crowning. Uh, then I will pull two cards, message from the universe. Um, so generally it is genderless energy when I'm pulling for twin flames. And I do look for specific male feminine energy to kind of direct my my vision that I'm seeing. So this would be the twin flame reading. Um, so I usually use a John Holland deck for this reading. Um, so there are 52 cards in total. There is a feminine and a masculine aspect being represented here. So um, I pull four cards for the feminine, four for the masculine, and then um, this would be what the feminine is bringing into the union, what the masculine is bringing in. This is the foundation, crowning, and heart-centered energy. So these are shared union cards. And then I also pull a card um, from the bottom as an overall energy. So this would be the past position. I also pull, pull uh, three cards per position as clarifiers. So there would be a past, present, and future. So I would explain each position in how it relates to the series, series as well as the entire reading. Uh, when we get into the union energy, I do only pull two cards per position for that. 
So I also pull um, two cards as a message from the universe. This is a divine partnership reading. It uh, shows a masculine and a feminine aspect and how they relate to one another. So there are nine cards uh, per aspect plus uh, a card from the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. I'll also be pulling three cards per position for clarifiers of past, present, and future. So um, the card positions are how the masculine or feminine view this connection, what they're resisting, their message from their higher self, past, present, and future, message from the universe, their external environment, and what they fear. And I will also be pulling two cards as a message from the universe. And that is uh, 76 cards in total. So I also offer a, um, a Celtic wing with a, a male-female aspect. And the reading would be focused on the feminine or the masculine. Um, I also offer genderless spread, which is slightly different. Um, so the, uh, the divine... Uh, masculine or feminine reading would start with the present position. I would also pull uh, three clarifier cards per position. Um, so that would be the present, the foundation, recent past, um, what you would hope for and likely to get, crossroads, near future, what you're resisting, internal environment, external environment, the outcome, um, the summary outcome and the final outcome, the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Okay, so again, I pull three clarifiers per position using my deck. Okay, and um, for the male female aspect, I pull three cards using. Uh, you know, John Holland deck or what have you. So I pull, um, this would be uh, your external environment, her external environment, um, what you hope for and fear, and final outcome. And same thing on the masculine side, his external environment his internal environment, what he hopes for and fears or fears, his final outcome. And I pull three cards per position uh, for those as well. So I also um, pull two cards for, for a message from the universe. The genderless uh, Celtic wing would um, involve one card per position but two clarifiers, and one would represent the feminine, the other would represent the masculine. And I would, you know, so this would be a shared energy, and this would tell us what the masculine and feminine are actually bringing in, you know, and relating to each position. Okay, so again, we have the present, foundation, recent past, what you hope for and likely to get, um, crossroads, resisting internal, external, the outcome of these three cards, the summary outcome and final outcome, card from the bottom of the deck for the overall energy, and again, um, two cards per position. I also pull a female male aspect, so that's four cards. So this would be her external, her internal, what she hopes for or fears, her final outcome. And I pull three confirmation per position, three cards. Um, and same thing over on the masculine side. So in total, that is 70 cards. So the infinity spread is 104 cards. Um, and it's basically two readings combined into one. So it's a divine partnership reading uh, with the twin flame. So this is the most detailed um, reading that you can get. 
So again, um, we'll start with the Divine Partnership reading. There's nine cards per position for the masculine, nine for the feminine, plus three clarifiers uh, with my cards. So it would be how the masculine views the, the relationship, what he's resisting, message from the universe, um, his past, present, and future, message from the universe, um, his external environment and what he fears, Oops. and the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. And again, um, I use my cards for clarifiers, so past, present, and future. And I will explain how each card relates to one another, to that cluster, and to the overall reading. So I usually use two decks for the uh, Divine Partnership, and that way the universe can play with the cards. Um, I see a lot of synchronicities uh, doing it this way. And then once we're done with the Divine Partnership, I will do a Twin Flame reading, and I, that is just using one deck. Okay, so I do uh, a feminine, masculine um, aspect, what, and then uh, some union energy. So a past, present, near future, and final outcome for the feminine, plus three clarifiers. Same thing over with the masculine. Okay, so what the feminine is bringing into the union, plus three clarifiers, what the masculine is bringing in, plus three clarifiers, the foundation, plus two clarifiers, that will give us a feminine and masculine energy as it relates to the main card. Same thing with the crowning, same thing with the heart-centered energy, and then I will pull one deck, one card from the bottom of the deck. Okay, and uh, so I also pull two cards as message from the universe. 